I mean, it kind of sounds like Boogie. Look how he's been acting lately. You throw something at him, he does a woe is me because it's about his problems. His problems are the only problems. It, it does. It sounds like Boogie. All right. So the infamous Jackson Clark, the real winner of the Boogie saga, he put out this tweet. It's about time. Also, Google Boogie2988 Lucy Fox. So I Googled it, and this is what I found. This is what I found. It's called Lucy Fox and Boogie2988 Relationship Truth. Apparently, she's an ex-girlfriend of Boogie. This was made five years ago. It was made in 2018. And this is the only video that this channel has so I was interested in watching it I haven't watched the whole thing so I figured that we can watch it hey so I thought I would come on here and okay um I would like to add this again do you not notice Boogie has a thing for redheads he has a he has a type he literally has a type he likes redheads. It's a theme. There you go, Reese. It's more like a theme. Boogie has a theme. Explain my side of the story and the truth. I have gotten hundreds, if not thousands, of questions and DMs from a lot of people asking, you know, oh, are you, you know, that girl? Yeah, I'm that girl. And no... No one's Girl, why? Of all people, Boogie? Really? Have me sign an NDA or <laughs> anything similar to that. <sighs> this is a, <laughs> this is something I never thought I would ever actually end up getting on here to talk about. Mostly because I don't really give a shit. <laughs> but I decided I would get on here and be truthful with you guys since a lot of you guys have had questions. So, I yeah, why Boogie? That's my main question. Why Boogie? Oh my God, I would, I would give just about anything to be able to talk to her. I dated a YouTuber and for his sake, I'm just gonna call him, what should I call him? Asshole. Okay, so asshole. I mean, I, fair, fair, very fair. I met asshole and, um, he was on a website. I'm not gonna say what kind of website, but you can probably figure it out. And I, you know, thought, oh, this must be a joke. Okay, apparently she's a cam girl or was a cam girl. I don't know if she is today. I have no idea. Um, but apparently she was a cam girl at one point, which no judgment here. Y'all know how I feel about sex work. Sex work is work. I don't care what anybody says. Like. Okay, so I messaged the guy. I was like, oh, I thought you were married. <laughs> he said, well, we're, I'm going through a divorce and she just left me come over. So since I have been a fan of said asshole <laughs> for many years, I decided, okay, well, he can't be a bad guy, so I'll just go over it. Uh, Nomi, I have no idea if this was a sugar baby situation. I don't know. And if it is, it is. I mean, he already said he spent money on that stuff, so I, I, I wouldn't doubt it, maybe? But apparently she was actually in a relationship with him, so I don't know if that technically would be Sugar Baby. I don't know. Let's see how it is. Um, you know, since I was a fan and I thought, oh, well, you know, nothing bad will come out of it, you know, because, you know, everyone thinks he's such a great guy. So... <laughs> I went over, not a whole lot happened. Um, we stayed and talked until like seven or eight in the morning. Um, just talking, you know, just talking about his shit and like a little bit about me and where I come from and you know, what I'm looking for in a relationship because I was looking to date somebody. Um, I was that I was ready for that. Um, asshole was nice at first. <laughs> 
as most assholes are. And I thought, okay, that is the damn truth. That one that I talk about every now and then, <clears throat> that I was in that really bad six year relationship with. When I first started dating him, oh my God, he was the man of my dreams. He was the man of my dreams. My God, I was, I was praying for somebody like him. Until I realized how he really was. Until I saw how he really was. They always, listen, I don't care what relationship you're in. You could be in a good relationship. I'm in a good relationship. I feel like I'm in a good relationship. But let's be honest. For first three to six months, you're not even sending in your real self. You're sending in your representative. That's how I call it. You send in your representative because you're trying to show that person that you really are a good person. You really want to be with them. Okay? You really don't know somebody until you move in with them or until that veil drops. And that representative goes away and you start seeing the real person. But, well, you know, let's see how it goes. You know, he seems like a nice guy. He was, you know, going through some stuff. So I thought I would be there for him and help him through some stuff. So that's what I did, you know. All right, so he was going through some stuff, and she was going to help him with that. Boogie's always going through something, isn't he? Okay, so she's saying that Boogie went through a lot of stuff, and she was helping him out with it. Okay. You know, I would go over to his house every day. I'd take care of him, have him talk about, you know, his issues and, you know, all the hate he was getting and blah, 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 blah. And I kind of just listened to it you know and one thing led to another and we started forming a relationship um but does he trauma bond with everybody because isn't that how him and desi got together because he literally said that him and desi literally trauma bonded yeah he trauma bonds with everybody what the hell but we kept it very quiet since he was going through a divorce and i did not want to get involved with that because that's not my place so I never posted about it publicly. I never posted pictures of us together or anything like that because out of respect for him, um, which now that I think about it, it just, he just wanted to keep me quiet and keep me as a nobody and somebody that he could just throw away. Ladies, ladies, let me tell y'all something right now. If your man can't say that he's your man, don't be with your man. Okay? If you can't be out loud and public about it, don't do it. Because it's better for you in the long run to be out loud and public about it. So, we started dating for a couple months. He was dealing with some emotional problems and dealing with, you know, his own shit. <laughs> and I was pretty much taking care of him every day. I, um... You know what I do for a job, then you know I have to be at home <clears throat> in order to be on cam. Well, I couldn't do that because it would turn into an argument every time I tried to leave. Um, why are you trying to leave me? You know I need somebody right now. Blah 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 blah. You know. So I'd sit. Now let's be honest. We don't know if this is really true. Okay, these are just allegations for entertainment purposes only. I guess. All right, we're just. I'm watching the video that I was told by the infamous Jackson Clark to look up. Okay? That's all we're doing. But I'm going to be kind of honest. She's kind of describing Boogie. Okay? She's kind of describing him to a T. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> In the back room. And I'd wait for him to finish up doing his work and whatever, and pretty much I was not making any income. I was scraping to get by, to be honest with you. Um, like I'd ask him, hey, can I put some money into my bank account so I wouldn't get an overdraft? Okay, well, here's, you know, 20 bucks. Cool. Well, now we know where money went. So I would do that and then, you know, I have bills to pay, you know? I don't wanna get into detail about my personal life because I know none of you really give shit, but uh, I was dealing with some stuff on my own, but that was never important. You know, that was kind of like put off to the side as being sort of a last resort. Sorry, my ear just kicked on. Um, it was kind of just like a 
not important kind of thing. And, you know, it started really getting to me because I was putting in all this effort to help asshole with his personal problems. And it kind of felt like everything that I was going through and everything I was dealing with in my personal life did not matter. Okay. Okay. Let's break that down. So... Boogie, the way she's describing Boogie is Boogie was all about himself. It was about him and his problems only. He didn't care about whatever problems she was going through. Hmm. I mean, it kind of sounds like Boogie. Look how he's been acting lately. You throw something at him, he does a woe is me because it's about his problems. His problems are the only problems. It, it does. It sounds like Boogie. Because, oh, he has it so bad. Oh, he has it. <laughs> Look, when you have so much money in the bank off of people that you are <laughs> emotionally, verbally manipulating into giving you cash, and every night you talk about your hookers and your bullshit and, oh, you're going through it, I can guarantee you someone else in this world is going through it a lot, a lot worse. And trust me, I have been through quite a bit. But I do not come up on the internet and complain about every little detail that is wrong with my life. Oh god, that is boogie. Oh my god, that's so boogie. Oh god, that's so boogie. <laughs> no! A lot worse. And trust me, I have been through quite a bit. But I do not come up on the internet and complain about every little detail that is wrong with my life. I keep it to myself. <laughs> and I speak with a therapist. But Boogie needs a therapist. Boogie needs a team of therapists. He doesn't just need one. He needs like a whole team. The he Boogie needs the SEAL team six of therapists. That's what Boogie needs. Let's be honest about the situation. Okay? He he needs a whole ass SEAL team six of therapists. Alright? They need to just drop down and go, listen, we're going to straighten you out right now. Oh, my God. Things started progressing and got worse. Like, at first, asshole was really nice, you know. Um, he'd take me out, you know, there was no issue. You know, he would maybe get me a present once in a while. Mostly hand-me-downs, you know, so he wouldn't have to pay for anything. Um, and then it got to the point where, okay, well, I need to go to Los Angeles because I need to go shoot. Girl, he had magic cards to buy, okay? I'm sorry you don't understand the importance of Magic the Gathering, but girl, he had magic cards to buy. He did not have the time nor the resources to give you money, all right? The man had imp more important things to buy. Are you kidding me? For some production companies, right? He was hesitant on that. He was like, why don't you just stay at home? Well, I'm not making any money at home right now because it's a slow season and I can't go anywhere because every time I try to leave your house, you scream and yell at me. All right, fair enough. Here's $500 so you can go out to Los Angeles. Pay for my ticket, can't complain. Pay for maybe $200 worth of food and my baggage home. Um, you know, you can say what you want about me, and you can call me all the names in the book, but at the end of the day, you know exactly what you're getting into. You know exactly what kind of job I have, and you knew for a fact that you were not comfortable with anything I do. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to go on a sidebar here. Um, gentlemen, if you are dating a woman, and you start dating this woman knowing she's a cam girl then don't complain that she's a cam girl after you start dating her. If she did that before y'all started dating, don't expect her to quit just because your white knight ass started dating her. That's not how the world works. You knew what you were getting into. Y'all need to stop that shit. And you know what? Women do that shit too. Women do that shit too, to be honest. Listen, if the, the person is going to be that same person, but if you saw how they were before they dated, don't be surprised they are the same way after you start dating them. Come on now.
It's like these dumbasses who start dating somebody who's already with somebody else, so that person is cheating on their uh, significant other for you. Don't be surprised when they turn around and cheat on you. Don't be surprised. You lose them just like you get them. Just saying. Like, hell? What the hell? Come on now. Oh, well, I used to run a, you know, websites for all these companies. That does not mean you're comfortable with it. That just means you're just trying to put on a front. Oh, that's when he was in the porn industry. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, he, he's always putting up a front. He does that now. He's ridiculous. <laughs> Goblin, sometimes game isn't game. True. As usual. Anyways, I just want to set the work record straight. Um, things were good at the beginning. But it got to the point where every night I'd go home in tears because asshole thought it was a good idea to scream at me, you know, about everything. Oh, you're not, you know, you're not here enough. You, you aren't, you know, you're just fucking annoying and, and you just don't want to listen to me, blah, 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 blah. Well, good thing Boogie has Desi now, huh? It's a damn good thing Boogie has Desi now. Because she is right there. You know, you don't mean shit to me. You don't mean shit. You're just a fucking piece of shit. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, so I gotta keep... Everything is secret. And, you know, there's been a lot of, I've been watching and <laughs> noticing that asshole likes to refer to somebody as his hooker. Oh, I'm gonna pay my hookers for this, blah, blah, blah. I have not seen this man since March. So whatever hooker he's referring to, it's not me. I don't do that. I don't do special services for anybody. In fact, <laughs> You know, I'm not going to knock down anybody who does full service, but I don't do that. Um, and that wasn't what... So is that what was happening back then? People were guessing that she was the hooker that he kept talking about? Is that what it is? Because remember, this is five years old. I wasn't watching this stuff back then, so I have no idea. I, you know what, Fast Player? That's a really good question. Is this going to be the next topic for Locale Live? Hmm. Okay, so NCR, because you seem like you know a lot about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's why she made this video. Basically let people know, um, he was, she's not the hooker that he's talking about. I will say this. He just sounds like he was a bad boyfriend. Honestly, the way he was acting with her, I'm going to be honest, that's a dime a dozen with people in relationships. That's not, it, it's not like he was beating her to a pulp or anything like that. I mean, she's not even claiming that. Her relationship was, it was a true relationship. And if you don't believe that, then that's your prerogative. But at the end of the day, we did have an emotional connection and he did care about me until the day he decided that <laughs> he was just going to continuously scream and yell at me every single day and I got tired of it. I got tired of being treated like I was dirt on the side of the road. And I was tired of being treated like I was less than. When I know for well, he was on top of the world in 2018, wasn't he? You know, he his he his his head was big. Well, I mean, the whole body was big. It's buggy, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like his head was big. He he thought he was untouchable. You know, it it he sounds like a bad boyfriend. He was just a bad boyfriend. For that, I'm worth a whole lot more. So you can keep. You know, talking shit or whatever, and pulling in all of those thousands and thousands, thousands of viewers who you know are struggling financially, but you don't care because they're giving you nice donations. Okay, you know what? I'm not getting on Boogie for the donations. I okay, that's her not understanding how the business works. When you live stream, that's your main bread and butter is donations. Okay, I it, all a donation is is a tip for going. Thank you for um, entertaining, entertaining me, okay? That's exactly how I look at a donation. I'm not getting on Boogie about donations. I think that's retarded as f I'm sorry. I, she's going a little bit too far with that one. I, 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 I have to make the line there. Also, I was never, like I said in the beginning of this, I was never, uh, I was never-
Oh, wait. 2018 was around the beginning of when he started to fall off. Okay. Thank you, Abel. I appreciate that because I didn't know that. I didn't know the timeline of when he started to uh, fall off. Okay. Thank you. I was told to sign an NDA. I was just told to keep his name out of my mouth. So, I am. Just talking about an asshole. Honey, you better than me because I say his name. You are better than I am because I would have said his name. I would say his name. <laughs> Tell me not to say your name. I will say it everywhere. People will get tired of it coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Skip, you make a good point. Skip goes, right? It's a weird thing for a cam girl to say. Don't they do the same? Just saying. Just saying. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's why the money part... I don't give a shit about the money part. I don't give a shit Go, you're manipulating people to give you donations. I I don't give a shit about that part. I really don't. I know there's a lot more that I can put into this, but honestly, it would go on for hours. But what I went through was... <laughs> what I went through was, was some... <laughs> what I went through is something nobody should have to endure and the fact that i know that he's he's doing this to other people to other girls that are younger than me makes me very upset wait well how old are you she gotta be like what mid 20s 23 24 uh she looks 25 ish yeah like mid 20s i wouldn't de i definitely wouldn't say upper 20s mid 20s oh she was 21 at this time okay so come at me with all your hate and your trolls, I don't give a shit. Because the world needs to know that you're not all that you work yourself up to be. And telling me to keep my name out of your mouth is not going to happen. Then say his name. Say his name. Listen, if you're going to be a badass and make a video, say the name. Say Boogie2988, you are a piece of shit. But thank you guys for listening to me rant a little bit. I'm going to go take a bubble bath and try not to scream at the wall. Okay. All right. So there's that. Um, okay. I'm not going to say he preys on 20-year-olds because, again, y'all know how I feel. Once it's 18, it's 18. Keem has officially gotten the play button from Boogie. It has landed. It has landed at the Keem compound. I repeat. The boogie play button has landed at the Keem compound. 